Hello everybody. Welcome to John's Secret Bat Cave. <laughs> in an undisclosed location. Right. Under the waterfall, you gotta dive drive through the the barricade that opens at the last second. Then that shuts off the water for the waterfall. Then you drive under the waterfall. <laughs> then you gotta punch it and clear the ditch or you'll fall into the alligator swamp. <laughs> okay, what we're doing, we're, we're constructing our vacuum forming box. Okay, now we have a couple of these, but they ain't long enough. These are old heater boxes. These are the electric heaters out of some old furnaces I've changed out. Yeah. I always keep these because these parts are hard to come by. <laughs> so we're going to take these boxes right here. Strip them out. And we got some new heating elements. Then we're going to cut these the ends off these boxes. We're going to bolt them together and make longer heating elements. Because if I'm not mistaken, you can just put and plug both these ends in a wall socket and get heat. John, is that how that works? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you're getting through that resistance. Huh? Yes, you're getting heat. They'll get red hot. They'll get red hot. You might have to hook it up to 220. These draw 20, 19 amps a piece. So uh, we use two elements and sequence them in. Uh, For one start. So, so these sequence them in so it won't start all at once or blow a breaker. So I once see. one's running, it drops down, one, then it starts. I see. We're gonna let John do that complicated wire and stuff while I build the box. Okay. Now this box is gonna be this is gonna be what two foot two something by twenty-six inches by eighteen. What did it take me? Did you grab it? No, it's up in the other but the other gonna get one. Oh. And uh, so uh, I can either make the lid go to the other box lengthwise or shortwise, and I think it'd be better shortwise. So a box is going to be 26 by 50. Yeah, well, the whole box is going to be twice that wide because the lid's going to have to flop over onto the vacuum table. So what we got to do? Is uh, cut the ends of these. There's uh, tape in my other shop. Is it, is it locked up? Yeah. I'll get it done. What for this 10 minutes to be over with? I need kind of a straight edge stick. There we go. T square. Got a pencil. That's over in the other shop, too. <laughs> yeah. Man, what's these toolboxes for? That's, there might be a pencil in there somewhere. A little bit of marker. marker. Clean it all dried up. Okay, so we gotta take these pins and cut them off. Then we're gonna bolt two of them things together. Dried up back in date on West is Abu. You know that Abu that went in the river? Yeah, we got an update on that. We all snuck off to the flying field a little bit yesterday and uh, we wasn't there. 
30, 10 minutes. We seen this family walking up over this hill. It was a mom, daughter, dad, and a daughter, wasn't it? Yeah. Kids, yeah. And uh, they had a haboo. Uh, the, the guy did, and he was walking with it from the direction of the river, you know, where we lost Wes's plane. And it just looked out of place. I knew it wasn't their airplane. They was going to load that in the truck and drive on down the road. <laughs> We holler at him, hey, did you guys find that? Yeah, we found it down there about a half mile down the river. And uh, see, the dang thing wasn't hurt that bad. As you know, Wes tried to plug in the speed controller last night. And uh, the radio part of it worked, uh -huh. but the, it, the motor would never come on. Yeah. I don't know if it was the motor or the speed controller. Put an amp meter on, you can tell. Whether it's kicking in or not. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we got two empty box. Oh, you need that one. Yeah, I just want to see one. Need the rack. Need the rack. And then we need a pencil. Probably one in the front seat of the truck. Oh, okay. Oh, here's the tape measure. Tools. Well, John's hard at it, believe it or not. It's a good thing. It's a good thing I brought my camera. No one would believe that. Bam! Gone after it. Been there a while. Now, we need to keep this plastic off. The heating elements a little bit. So I'm going to say 12 inches. You want to rip that down to 12? Well, we'll be back with our progress. We'll uh, let you know what's going on when we get it figured out. We'll see you back in the bat cave. Same bat time, same bat station. 